A week after 9-11, letters are received at ABC, CBS, NBC News, the New York Post, and the National Enquirer at America Media Inc. Later, it is discovered that the letters are laced with anthrax. Robert Stephen, photographer at American Media Inc., dies of anthrax poisoning after inhaling the spores from the letters. He is the first fatality of the 2001 anthrax attacks. This is the first wave of attacks. Letters are later sent to several senators and panic spread quickly. The FBI later found that the culprit was a scientist at an American biodefense lab. There was no terrorist involvement. Later, some afflicted still complained of shortness of breath, memory loss, and respiratory illness. Anthrax has been present for hundreds of years. Scholars have characterized the fifth and sixth biblical plagues and the burning plague of Homer's Iliad as anthrax. The first accurate human account came around 10 BC. Anthrax is an acute infectious disease caused by the spore-forming bacterium Bacillus anthracis. It is most common to animals but has also been passed to humans. Over the next 1,500 years, Europe witnessed sporadic outbreaks of anthrax, with the most acute outbreaks occurring in 14th century Germany and 17th century Russia and Central Europe. Despite the threat these outbreaks posed to livestock, it was only in 1769 that John Fournier classified the disease as anthrax, or carbon malin, a name undoubtedly derived from the black lesions characteristic of cutaneous anthrax. Fournier also noted a link between those who worked with raw animal hair or wool and susceptibility to anthrax. When the bacteria enters a cut, a skin rash will appear. Skin infection begins as a raised, itchy bump that resembles an insect bite, but within one to two days develops into a vesicle and then a painless ulcer, usually one to three centimeters in diameter, with a characteristic black necrotic dyeing area in the center. Lymph glands in the adjacent area may swell. This accounts for 75% of the cases, and with antibiotics, there is only a 1% death rate. The intestinal disease form of anthrax may follow the consumption of contaminated meat and is characterized by an acute inflammation of the intestinal tract. Initial signs of nausea, loss of appetite, vomiting, and fever are followed by abdominal pain, vomiting of blood, and severe diarrhea. Intestinal anthrax results in death in 25% to 60% of cases. Initial symptoms may resemble a common cold, sore throat, mild fever, muscle aches, and malaise. After several days, the symptoms may progress to severe breathing problems and shock. Inhalation anthrax is usually fatal. Fever. The fever must be accompanied by chills or night sweats, flu-like symptoms, cough, usually a non-productive cough, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle aches, sore throat, followed by difficulty swallowing, enlarged lymph nodes, headache, nausea, loss of appetite, abdominal distress, vomiting or diarrhea, a sore, especially on your face, arms, or hands, that starts as a raised bump and then develops into a painless ulcer with a black area in the center. Keep these in mind. For all types, symptoms usually appear within seven days. Some cases take up to 42 days to appear. Anthrax is transmitted from animals or when it is used as a biological weapon, not person to person. If exposed, the usual course of treatment is ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, or penicillin. If infected, treatment is usually a 60-day treatment of antibiotics. To prevent another biological attack, the CDC is developing procedures, forming response teams, and educating doctors, hospitals, labs, and the general public. This video itself is a form of prevention.